All right, lovely people. Today we shall make zucchini doodles. I got some zucchini, the squash, green pepper, tomato, onion, garlic. Over here I got a couple of carrots that I've already peeled. The carrots are the only thing that I'm going to peel. I'm going to keep the skin in the zucchini and squash. So let's get washing and start. All right, beautiful people. So I already washed and cut off the ends off my zucchinis. I'm going to use this zucchini shredder that I got from Walmart for less than $10. I'm going to shred them into this ball. So I'm just going to hold it, grab the zucchinis. And you can either peel your zucchini or you can go straight like that. I go straight like that, but I make sure to cut it after a while so it won't become too long. I'm going to do the same thing for the yellow squash when I'm done with the zucchini. So let me get this done and I'll see you in a few minutes. So when I get to the end that looks like this, I don't toss it away. I honestly just chop it off to little pieces. It all blends in with the other vegetables, with the zucchini noodles, and it all tastes just fine. So I'm going to chop this up and grab my other zucchini and squash. And get rolling again. I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. So this is what my zucchinis look like. I used two zucchinis. This is what my yellow squash looks like. And the reason why I have them in two separate bowls is because they get cooked at different times. And the carrots I don't like to put for that machine because of the texture of it. It comes out quite horrible. So I just hand shred them like that. And so I'll finish doing this and I will get going on the tomato, garlic, onion and bell pepper and, and or any other veggies you want to use or that you have them need to go bye bye. Those are my carrots. I'm gonna leave it over here with the zucchinis and squash to hang out for a few minutes and I will be right back with it. So I've already cleaned and washed my green pepper as well as my tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice the green pepper here. It's okay if little bits come off. It's gonna get cooked the same way. And with the tomato, I'm just going to mm, should we leave it sliced or should we chop it? Hmm. You can either make it stripes, you can chop it, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. Not too much. I'm gonna grab my onion and my garlic and put this into our dishes over here and we'll be right back. All right, so this is my yellow onion. My family likes onions, so I'm gonna use the whole thing. I'm only gonna use four, maybe five cloves of garlic here. And I'm going to mince the garlic and chop the onion. If you don't like too much onion or you don't like garlic you don't have to use them we like them so we like to incorporate them in a lot of things and i know this is not the best knife for this specific thing but it's what i grabbed right now so that's what i'm using So we're going to be using this type of pan, whatever you want to call it in English. And we're going to start, we're going to cook it on medium to low, low to medium the whole time. Get some butter in there. And let your butter melt. I'm using this Irish butter. That 
looks good right now. If you want to make it vegan, don't use butter. You can use olive oil and that's it. You can make this a very vegan dish. So, have your butter with some olive oil in your pan. And let's get started. All right, well, you, once your oil and your butter kind of melted together and became warm, go ahead and put your garlic in there for a couple minutes. Don't leave your pan because it's very easy to burn your stuff. Do one. And with the zucchini noodles, we're going to have a cup of right plain rice. So I'm going to make this in a different pot. Alright, when you got it moving, go ahead and add your onion. All right, lovely. So in case you don't know, with the zucchini noodles, we're going to teach you how to make rice. So, one cup of rice, white rice, two cups of water. So there's the one cup of rice. Two cups of water. Usually we put some onion or different spices in with the rice as well. But because this is going to be very flavorful as it is, we're just going to add some salt and pepper to the rice and leave it on medium for about 20 minutes. Alright, so you might have different veggies because, you know, remember we use whatever we had at home that you to go. Choose whatever vegetable is going to have to cook the longest and put it in. So for me it would normally be the carrots, but since I shredded them, I feel that this peppers might take a little longer. So I'm going to start with the peppers. And it smells absolutely divine. I wish you could all smell it, but if you make it yourself, you will be able to. Because it's sizzling and you're sauteing it, you want to keep it moving and you want to stay with it. Don't leave your pan. Alright, so while it's cooking, cooking well, I'm going to go ahead and have the second thing that's going to take the longest, which is the carrot. And keep it going. And I'm going to start spicing up my dish. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this at the moment. There's my pepper. Give it a little more olive oil. And some salt. 
Now, because you're adding things to it, you might need to slice as you go, or I suggest to slice as you go, because you're changing the recipe every time you add something new. Now there's something different to put in there. Alright, lovelies, how you all doing? How's it smelling? Okay, so my third thing that's gonna take some time to get cooked will be the actual noodles. But I'm just gonna drop them in a little bit at a time. And this is the actual zucchini, not the squash. The squash and tomatoes will be the last thing that I put in because they will be quite quick to cook in with the rest of it. And since we added something, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper into it, a little bit of salt. And this time around, while we're adding spices, you can use whatever spices you like, whatever sounds good or tastes good to you. But this time around, I'm also going to add a little bit of oregano. And a little bit of sage. Keep it going, keep it mixing. You might need to add a little olive oil here and there to keep it from burning. You're all looking wonderful, smelling wonderful. Don't forget about your rice, check your rice. Don't open the lid, but take a quick glance to see that it's still okay. I'll put that down for a second. There's the rice, still okay. Bring you back here with me. And you want your veggies to get somewhat soft. That's why I'm saying harvest first or the ones that take longer to cook first. And then the rest of them. And keep this on somewhat of a medium to low heat. Because if you put it on high, you will burn your stuff very quickly. And if it sounds nice, have a glass of wine. Wine's good for you. Not yet. Alright, my beautiful friend. How is everybody doing? How is it looking? You see how the pieces of zucchini fit right in there? From the bits that we couldn't shred? They fit right in there with the rest of it. You don't even need to think twice about it. Next up will be the squash, the yellow squash that I shredded. And like the zucchini, we're going to put a little bit at a time into it. And kind of blend it in, mix it in. mixing up and this time around we're going to add a little bit of thyme
and they will get soft as you go, which is perfect. You want them to get soft, you don't want, you might want a few of them a little crunchy, but not hard. in the beautiful smells and the beautiful flavors and the beautiful colors that are coming out of your creation. It's a masterpiece, I tell you. By the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but keep in mind that your veggies will shrink while you're sauteing it. And that's perfectly okay. It's perfectly fine. Just keep it moving, keep it blending. Keep adding to it and spicing it up and you'll have a perfect delicious menu. Alright my beautiful people, so we are ready to add our tomato. You might want to cut it smaller than what I did, but it's okay for now, we'll survive with it. And the reason why I only use one tomato is because that one was going to go bad, but you may choose to use as many as you would like. And with your tomato, I'm going to add some fresh parsley. This actually came from our backyard. You can chop it if you want, but I'm just going to toss it in like that. So now that you've been adding so much to it, you might want to taste it. Take a little bit of a taste and spice it up as you need to. So I'm just going to add some more salt and pepper to this. And let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll finish it up. Well, don't let it sit, keep moving it, but leave it alone after you finish spicing it. Just keep moving it. Don't add anything else to it and we'll finish it up in just a few minutes when everything gets soft. By the way, don't forget to check on your rice, so let's come over here real quick. My timer over there is going off. If it looks somewhat like that, your rice is good. So close your timer. Close the fire, leave it alone for a few minutes, we'll get back to it when we finish our noodles. You can close. Alright, Cruz, there's gonna be some liquid in here like that from the oil and the water from the veggies. Don't worry about it, it will be good, but you yourself do not add any water to it because you will make it too soggy and then it will not taste nice. So if you're good and you're all soft, then you're ready to move on. But we're gonna wait just a few minutes because some of our veggies still need a few minutes. So if you're gonna make this a vegan dish, then you skip this next step. But everybody else, grab some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna use this grated one. And just add some in there. You can add some more later in your own plate, but add some in there for now. Give it a good mix. Now taste it. How does it taste? If you feel like you need some more herbs or spices, this will be the time to do it. Because you're almost done. Hey my beautiful people, how's it smelling? How's it tasting? If you're all done, close the fire. Give it another minute or two to sit in there. Mix it up. 
keep moving that so it won't burn. And let's plate it up. All right, my beautiful people. This is what it looks like with your rice and your zucchini noodles. If you want, this would be the time to add some parmesan on top as well if you'd like. But there it is. If you wanted to make some chicken or beef or fish with it, go for it. But I'm going to eat it like that. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.